My name is Albert Lee. I am a neurosurgeon at Tallahassee Neurological Clinic here in Tallahassee. I've been practicing with a group here for three and a half years, and I'm also on the medical staff at Tallahassee Memorial Hospital where I have operating and admitting privileges. I'm a neurological surgeon, and we take care of patients with problems of the nervous system involving the brain as well as the spine in both the cervical and lumbar spine. We have a particular special interest in the minimally invasive techniques on cervical and lumbar spine surgery, as well as many of the new exciting innovations which include artificial disc replacement. Cervical and lumbar spine surgery are quite similar except they're in different parts of the body. Um, the general approach is to place a patient under complete anesthesia so they don't feel or remember anything from the surgery. And an approach from the front of the body, what's called an anterior approach, is used. Um, in each case, we are targeting a disc, which is a cartilage structure between bones in the spine that has degenerated and is causing problems for the patient. Uh, symptoms such as pain and tingling, or even in extreme cases, things such as spinal cord compression or other neurological impairment. Uh, the surgery involves removing the disc under a microscope or under magnification. And when the disc is taken out, there's an empty disc space that has to be filled. Um, traditionally, we have filled that with a fusion device uh, putting in a piece of bone graft or a metal cage and immobilizing the two bones so they don't move with respect to each other. Newer technology now allows us to put in an artificial disc, which is an implant that allows normal movement across that joint and is much better for the patient.